Experience the adrenaline-fueled highlights that define every game with sports director Grant Pugh and reporter Jack Burney. Don't miss a single second of all the action. WTWO Sports, only on WTWO. From the Wabash Valley Chevy Dealers Sports Desk, here's Jack Burney. Good evening, everybody. Welcome back. The third and final day of the MLB draft officially in the books, and a third Indiana State Sycamore is headed to the big leagues. That will be left-handed pitcher Jared Spencer, who is selected in the 14th round of the MLB draft with the 432nd overall pick by the Philadelphia Phillies. Spencer was named to the All-MVC first team in 2023 as ISU's closer before transitioning to the Friday night starter role this past season, where he posted a 6-0 record with a 4.08 ERA and 72 strikeouts in 53 innings. The lefty is the seventh. 17th Sycamore drafted the MLB since 2014, and the third in this year's draft, joining Randall Diaz and Luke Hayden, who were both picked on Monday. Sticking in baseball, the Terre Haute Rex back at Bob Warren Field tonight, looking for their 14th straight home win. The Rex entertaining the Dubois County Bombers in this one. Rex leading 3-0 in the second inning, adding to the lead. Delvis Claudio gets hit by the pitch with the bases loaded. That's an RBI as Caden Mason scores to make it a 4-0 game. Next batter is Cooper Jaws, who steps up and grounds it right back up the middle for a base hit. Gabe Wright and Nomar Garcia both score on the play to make it 6 nothing after two innings of play. The Terre Haute defense was strong all game long as well. Top third ground ball to second. Dawson Estep flips to Nomar Garcia who fires to first for an inning ending 4-6-3 double play. The Rex go on to beat the Bombers 10 nothing in seven innings for their 14th straight home win. The Rex move to 8-3 in the second half of the season and maintain a half game lead over Danville for first place in the Central. To the Hardwood now new head Coach Mark Mitchell and Indiana State women's basketball are beginning their second week of summer practices. The team got the chance to take the floor at the Holman Center for the first time on Tuesday. This year's roster features a mix of returners and newcomers as ISU looks to improve on an 11 and 21 season in 2023. Here's head coach Mark Mitchell on what's impressed him early on about this year's team. What I noticed is uh, a bunch of great attitudes. Uh, these young women. Uh, got great attitudes, working hard. Um, I'm very pleasantly surprised. Uh, you know, I didn't know what to expect. I, I really didn't have any expectations coming in. And um, all of those returners are just really uh, positive, uh, uplifting, and, um, and and all the newcomers are just really, you know, pushing each other. So uh, I'm, I'm really ple pleasantly surprised. Sticking with Sycamore basketball, but to the men's side now as Coach Graves and company wrapped up their sixth practice of the month at Holman Center this morning. With so many new faces on the roster, Coach Graves is looking for members of this young ISU team to step up and play meaningful minutes this season. One player they could look to lean on, true freshman Merritt Alderink. Alderink initially committed to play for Josh Schertz, but honored his commitment to the Sycamores through the coaching change. The 6'7 forward was named the 2023 Holland Sentinel Basketball Player of the Year after his senior season for Zeeland West High School in Michigan, in which he averaged 19.3 points and 7.1 rebounds per game. I caught up with Merritt on his decision to remain committed to the ISU program and some goals he has as he begins his freshman season. When I took my visit here, I took it. I committed about a year ago. So when I took my visit, I just I just knew this was home. Um, the guys, the coaches, we still have Coach Fur around. Yeah, he was a a great guy, um, big part of my uh, commitment. Um, so just it's a family atmosphere, a great community. Just to be the best player I can, I'll have the biggest impact on this program and on the community as I can. Just basketball, not basketball, I just make a huge impact. And finally to high school basketball, last season's Bobcat to Davies County Classic at North Davies was the final edition of the tournament. On Tuesday, Bobcat to Davies County announced they'd be sponsoring a new holiday basketball event in the southern portion of the Wabash Valley. The inaugural Hatchet House Hysteria will take place December 27th and 28th at Washington High School's historic Hatchet House. Girls games will take place the 27th with North Knox and Washington representing the Wabash Valley. The Washington boys will also play on the 28th. Here's Bobcat to Davies County's Austin Boyd on the motivation of putting on this holiday event. Well, yeah, they uh, they have a great reputation of a holiday tournament at North Davies, and we just felt like you get such a good turnout in the area. We wanted to keep that going any way we could. So to have a partnership here at Washington and then to get people in the Hatchet House that have maybe never seen it before, it's, it's a cathedral to high school basketball. So it'll be a really good deal. That's a wrap for sports. More news and weather right after this.